Deciding to commit to a professional acting program is one of the most difficult and rewarding decisions that any actor can make. In this video, Charlie Sandland discusses the skills, the commitment, and the vision that actors need to have sustaining and fulfilling acting careers. A, a lot of students, right, that are interested in coming to my studio and train. And one of the biggest things that come up, it comes up often, is this particular problem I thought I would share with you because you might be able to relate to this. For a lot of actors who have never really seriously trained, they've put their resume together, they got their headshots, and they start submitting to backstage, actors access, they're going to actors green room, they're getting in with casting directors, maybe they start auditioning, and they start booking maybe an under five. Oh, I've got my two lines on Law & Order. I've got a co-star here, a co-star there. And they start building a resume for themselves. And they might even end up getting an agent. Maybe they have a particular look. They're interesting in some way, right? And they're getting good feedback, right? They're going in and they're doing their three or four lines. But they're not trained. And what they don't really realize at that point is that that kind of work doesn't really require very much other than conversational reality. All you got to do is have a sense of truth, be able to talk, deliver those two or three lines, and you're going to be okay. And then what happens is they get an opportunity for a bigger audition. They get called in for a guest spot, a series regular, a recurring role. And all of a sudden, that one page or those two pages turn into ten. And all of a sudden, it's an actual scene with a, an emotional line to it where they are starting in a very heightened place and they have to actually live through something. There's homework that has to be done and they don't know how to do it. And so they go into these auditions and all they have is conversational reality. They are not creating the behavior that the screenwriter has put into that script and they don't get the callback. They're not booking a job. And these opportunities that they're getting aren't leading to anything. And then they get the note from a casting director. Maybe it's fed through their agent or it's given to them in the room. You really should think about training. And they are, they're at this crossroads. They're like, what do I do now? Do I take a couple of years and commit myself to like getting really serious? Or do I just keep doing what I'm doing? And I will say that from my experience, the actors that just keep doing what they're doing and say to themselves, I don't have the time to train, they end up quitting and doing something else because they're not booking work and they're just not able to make anything happen. It's the actors who realize that if I want to be able to carve out a professional career, I have to be able to pick up a piece of material and break it down and do the homework that will allow me to illuminate the human condition and to be able to do that consistently. When you have that kind of skill set, when you get the big auditions, when you get those five, six, seven pages, you know what to do. You know how to break it down. And you can go into that room and really uh, show a casting director what you're capable of. So. When you get to that point, ask yourself, you know, what kind of artist do I want to be? What kind of actor I want to be? And if you want to be working in your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, if you want a long career, then you owe it to yourself to train. Learn more about professional acting programs by visiting the Maggie Flanagan Studio website. Actors who are interested in applying for admission to the studio should apply online and call the studio with questions at 917-789-1599.